And the NASDAQ is the best performing of the major averages today. Unlike the Dow and the S&P, it didn't hit a record, but still the chip stocks are leading this rally, helping to erase some of their month-to-date declines, the uh, NVIDIA in particular. Seema Modi has more. Seema? Kelly, that's right. The Fed's rate cut sparking a rally in chips. The SMH ETF now on pace for its best day since early August. Uh, worth noting, the sector does tend to outperform in a lower rate environment. Among the biggest gainers at this hour is Arm Holdings. JP Morgan just had a meeting with management, and their takeaway is that the chip designer can drive 20% plus revenue growth in the next few years as AI workloads from data center centers will require higher level levels of CPU compute. Elsewhere, NVIDIA up another 5% and now up about 10% from just a couple weeks ago. The stock's rebound has coincided with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong's uh, media blitz, recently touting the promise of accelerated computing at a number of conferences just this week at Dreamforce with Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff. And then take a look at Intel, higher after clarifying that it will not sell down its stake in Mobileye, the Israeli company that it bought and then took public. That's also providing some relief for shares of Mobileye as well, currently up about 17 percent on the day. This, as the semiconductor industry is awaiting earnings from Micron next week, TD Security is cutting its price target on the stock following a recent challenge check that does suggest pricing softness. The stock is up today, but I would point out it's been one of the key laggards so far this month, down about 16% from its high.